guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got this matte eye look using the Tarte Pro Palette with winged liner and of course some glitter. Um, I've also got glossy lips on. I want to wear more glosses. I just need to take them off straight away because I am so messy. Like I will smudge glosses immediately. Even, I can't even wear like nude pink glosses because my hair will catch in it and then I'll have like a line of pink on my face. I hate it so much because it looks so nice. Anyway, I've got this look today. Um, I'm using the Tarte Pro Palette. I'm going to film maybe next week sometime. Might be the next video that's up. I don't know. I'm going to film at some point a three looks, one palette using the Tarte Pro Palette. So if you like this look, then keep an eye out for that because that should be coming pretty soon. But yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to do my eyes first today because I'm going to be using glitter. So I'm just going to start on my brows. So I'm just starting off with my Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. My brows are kind of all over the place right now. I was just so messy with that. I'm gonna clean it up in a second, but first I'm just going in with my Brow Wiz in the shade Granite to darken up the tail a little more. So I'm cleaning up my brows now. This is my Anastasia Concealer in the shade 0.5. I'm also going to bring that same concealer onto my eyes to prime my eyelids. I always hate doing my eyes first because of how I look like this. Like, I don't feel happy with what I'm doing until I've got my base on. But anyway, I'm using the Tarte Tardist Pro Palette today. So I'm just going to set that concealer down with the shade Classic. Next I'm going to mix the shades Innocent and Whimsy and I'm just buffing this into my crease. As usual, I'm going to wing the shadow out because that's just what I like to do with my eye shape. I'm also just going to focus this on the outer third. Actually, I've just decided I'm going to put the shade Innocent, which was the lighter shade, all over the lid. Next, I'm taking the shade Edgy. And next I'm just taking the shade Smoked, and I'm just using this to deepen up that outer third a tiny bit more. I'm being quite precise with my placement here because I don't want to put it too far into the crease or anything. I'm just going in with the shade Vintage and I'm just using this to highlight my brow bone. I also brought the shadow up a bit too high so this is just going to bring that back a little. So I'm just taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just going to be doing a wing. So I'm just realizing that the glitter I'm using is going to be on my lower lash line, which is what I do once I'm finished doing all my other makeup. So I don't really know why I did my eyes first now, but I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I'm just going to prime with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I'm just going in with my NYX pore filler in the center of my face. For 
for my foundation today, I'm mixing my Revlon Colorstay and my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. I've just mixed about one and a half pumps of each. And I'm just concealing under my eyes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So next I'm taking my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just pressing a bit of this under my eyes to set it. And then I'm just setting the rest of my face with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. Next I'm taking my Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer and I'm just using this to warm up my face. And next I'm just dipping into my Tarte Contour Palette. I'm just going to take this darker shade and I'm just deepening up my cheekbones a little. And I'm also just using the blush from this palette as well. And I'm just sticking with Mary Lou for my highlight today. So for my lower lash line, I'm just mixing Whimsical and Innocent again. And I'm just running this all along my lower lash line. So I'm just taking some Too Faced Shadow Insurance onto my lower lash line. And I'm just taking my Bulk Glitter's Starstruck Silver Glitter. And I'm just placing this on my lash line. And I'm just sweeping away any fallout from underneath here. I'm also just placing some Bulk Glitter's Orbit Orange on there because I feel like this is too light. I just want it a little bit darker with a little more colour. So I'm just going to line my waterline with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm just applying some mascara now. This is just my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Oh no, I'm getting glitter everywhere. I have so much glitter on the floor right now. I knocked one of my glitters half over when I was trying to fix it up. And I'm just applying my Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. And for my lips, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sepia. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Lip Gloss also in Sepia. Alright, so that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it's been forever since I touched glitter, so I'm, I'm happy that it is now all over my floor again. <laughs> if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.